if every single person woke up and walked through their dream house and got in their dream car and ate their favorite food for breakfast and they had the body they were looking for and they had good relationships with other people because other people were happy and my hands are literally getting hot because of this energy that I have channeling through my body. This is so important. I really need you guys to hear me. You can save lives changing your mind, teaching your mind to be happy, waking your soul, allowing your soul to come through. The universe while it's nice for souls to be able to ascend at their own speed, the universe needs people to wake up early because you're being called to save the world, literally. There's too much hate in this world. And, you know, I was a very hateful person. And then I experienced samadhi and there's no room for hate in samadhi. You can't, literally can't feel it in samadhi if you don't want to. I was that person who would be like, ew, don't even come at me with your fucking hippie dippy rainbow vibes, not in the mood. I'm not about the light fairy princesses, leave me alone. If I, that exact person, am telling you all of this, you really need to take me seriously. Hi, Nina. Come here, you want to say hello to me? Where's your paw? There's a gnome. Can you come say hi to the people? Can you do that? Why go through life miserably when you could be happy? I just don't understand. I don't understand how no one's come forward with this stuff and like actually taken a stand they don't know. Um, you know, people are like, ooh, I'm afraid of people who are energetically inclined, yet you turn to people who are spiritual to fix your relationships. You can't have it both ways, pick one or the other. Savali, can you just be quiet for five minutes, please? Thank you. That's a no. He's going to go jump in more boxes. Um. I used to be so scared that people would judge me for this side of myself, for my abilities. Um, I mean, shit, if it was back in the day, I would literally be burned at a stake. I actually was in a past life. Um, but, and it's funny because I was burned at the stake in a past life for helping people. Clearly, it didn't really make an impact, did it? Because here I am again. Um... But they also said I was Cleopatra in a past life, so I'm just kidding. No, they did say that, but the hair flip, the sassiness, I'm just playing. Um, <sighs> just while you're thinking about, you know, everybody today, 
Well, not everybody. Everybody who celebrates Thanksgiving. Tivali, stop climbing through boxes. The disrespect. Does not care. Does not care. My cats don't care. They do what they want. <laughs> no. Oh, no. See, bye, me. Does not look like cake yet. Okay. Um. Thanksgiving for everybody celebrating Thanksgiving. I know that a lot of you are upset because you can't see your loved ones because of the virus breaking out. I know that right now a lot of people feel hopeless. Um, what I can offer to you for people is I can, not for, not for everyone, um, I have to figure out a schedule, but I can do readings for people who have lost the loved ones, and if they want to communicate, I can let that happen. Um, it does take a lot, so, um, you know, there are certain situations. I just had a situation the other day where I, I just felt very inclined to help someone, and he thanked me profusely, and... I've been helping him for a couple of days now, and um, he's very strong, very strong. These people are brought to me because their souls are ready to ascend. And, you know, going through the dark night of the soul is not a good time, but it does evolve you. And in this day and age, everybody needs to ascend now, now, wake up. You need to watch Samadhi Part 1 on YouTube. I will link it in my description. Um, you need to watch Abraham Hicks when you can. Uh, watch Eckhart Tolle when you can. I would read The Power of Now. Um, but if you don't do anything else, at least control your mind so that when you have thoughts, you are in control of your thoughts. And instead of letting your body just like spin and shoot thoughts out and like ruin your own life, decide what thought you're going to think. Because you can be that evolved where you decide what thought you're going to allow to go into the universe. It's a process and it's a muscle, but... I mean, I just like, do not pull that. I am... Um, the reason I even do my little psychic card trick where I shuffle the cards and I say which one I'm going to pull and I spread them and I pull it out of 53 cards is because I'm giving you proof. The universe gave me a gift and I am giving you proof that this is real. The reason that I'm... Um, the reason that you're unhappy is because you're suffocating your soul. It's not because you have a bad job or you have this or that. It's because you're suffocating your soul. What does your soul want? Turn off your mind. What does your soul want? It's so much bigger than everybody realizes. But as you go through the day today, you know, uh, whatever it is that you're thankful for, really focus on that. And if people are going around, and I fucking know you people are out there like, oh, I'm not thankful for anything today because the stupid virus and we're inside and I can't say, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it. You're creating a fucking spiral of negativity. It's contagious. You're creating it over here. Y'all are creating it over there. Everybody's fucking resonating with it. It takes off like wildfire. Now everybody's fucking miserable. Sit down and shut the fuck up.
there's one person in particular that I used to work with who would just, the second you even have a little slight hint of something could be wrong, she's fucking running with it. You wanna know why your life sucks? Because you suck. Why don't you try being happy? You bring everyone down because that's what you focus on. If you focus on good things, your life would be fucking amazing. But you wanna suffer. You like to thrive in drama. You feel like you thrive in drama. It's almost 4 a.m. So my speaking is like, you thrive in drama. And you, you think that you're wicked and you know this stuff, you don't. You have no fucking clue what you're doing. Um, people who I feel are inclined towards Wicca are positive and light and spreading light, not spreading hate. You are not, you just are not, you're not it. I hope that I can help make you it as far as things that I've made you, but, um, Anyone running around negatively needs to stop. You don't realize the impact it has. I didn't realize the impact it had. Why do you think I stopped? <sighs> Every time you speak, the universe hears you. Every time you think, the universe feels it. Every time you do something, the universe has noted it. You're not acting unseen. The universe sees you clearly. Be mindful. Be mindful because the universe is not like, oh, you can't do this and you can't do this and you can't do this. The universe is like, okay, little soul, I gave you the ability to create the life that you want to live. So create it. And you guys, and I, not anymore, but we all have been sucked in by the media, by people who are unenlightened. And you go through life thinking that life is about getting a good job, being successful, making a family, making your family successful, and then dying. And that's not what it's about at all. That's not what it's about at all, not at all. When I'm quiet, I'm just allowing the universe to come through. <laughs> I want everybody to put in the comments something happy, something uplifting that will motivate others, something that will, rem that reminds you to feel grateful. Um, everybody's going through something so you know you might be going through something really bad if you are reach out to me i can help you but um again there are there are certain instances where i'll accept a case with someone just because i can feel their suffering God damn it, it's stupid oh okay um and i just i can't leave people suffering because i've suffered and I just can't leave you so um 15 minutes in i'm gonna do a read for you guys uh let me just restart this since youtube wants